Vacant houses, they happen for a host of reasons. People relocate, someone passes away, an investment property that's not rented out immediately. The point is, vacancy happens. And an issue that's becoming worse and worse, and well, it's about to get exacerbated, is people squatting in these properties, leaving property owners nearly peril. I know what you're thinking. Eh, Dan passed away last month, and I finally came to the point where I have it in me to go over to the house and start cleaning it out and preparing it for sale. I go to the open the door and find a family. They've moved in. Fine, I'll just call the cops. They're going to get these criminals out of this house right away. No issues, right? <laughs> no. The majority of states have laws, believe it or not, that actually have made it exceedingly difficult to get squatters out once they've actually settled in. Someone who breaks into mom and dad's house and establishes themselves there are granted tenant rights, especially when they whip out that fake lease. You heard that right. You need to evict them. This means that squatters could live in your parents' property for months maybe even years, all while not paying a dime and possibly ruining the property. This may make you sick. Well, if you're a good person, that is, then actually a lot of what I'm about to show you is probably gonna make you sick and really kind of piss you off. Check out this post in a Facebook group. This is a person who is squatting in a three bed house and has sewer and electric in their names and needs some tips. And sure enough, Another criminal is quick to jump in with tips of never leaving it empty, putting a for sale sign in front of it and acting like it's theirs. Hang real curtains, paint the shutters, they say. Meet the neighbors and act like you own it. If you're a good and honest person, then you're probably maybe annoyed or believe possibly that it's not real. Well, in Atlanta, it's reported that there are over approximately 1,200 properties that squatters are living in. That's just one city and that the eviction process is so slow that property owners have resorted in paying the squatters off to leave. Nothing like paying a criminal that breaks into your house, right? I think thousands upon thousands of dollars, but that's nothing. There's even one company that runs ads on social media offering to find a prime squatter home in Atlanta for you, for a fee, of course. Yes, at one-time payment homes, the site makes it clear that these are squatter homes and spells out just what that means in a pinned insta story heck recently they were actually running a new year special where for fourteen hundred dollars you're gonna get the keys to a squatter home so you can stack money and turn your life around what amazes me in a just world shouldn't someone that's kicked out of a house for breaking the law by breaking into said house then squatting shouldn't they be taken straight to jail after the courts kicked them out i mean when the court kicks them out, they are literally saying that that criminal has broken the law. Where's the consequence? Here's a crazy story in California. The Mediterranean estate at 1316 Beverly Grove, which was listed for four and a half million, is being occupied by what is described as a sophisticated criminal ring of squatters. It is believed that the squatters are earning upwards of $30,000 a month, renting rooms and hosting huge house parties with $100 entry fees. It doesn't matter where or how much your property is. If it's vacant, then it's at risk. In technology, it's made it all easier for these criminals to find houses to squat in. Online listings make it easy for a criminal to find a house. And this is crazy that some companies and some sellers even allow this, but squatters can then book an appointment with a virtual real estate agent and gain access to the property all by booking a fake appointment. It's also as easy as scanning a paper or website looking for some obituaries. And like I said earlier, it's only going to get worse as housing affordability continues to decline. Then factor in 10 million or more immigrants in the last couple of years that are going to need housing and most likely are going to be economically strapped. It's just not a great scenario. If you own a vacant property, then take precautions. It's crazy that this is an issue, but in today's day and age, I've stopped becoming surprised. If you're a tired landlord or maybe inherited a house or heck has a property with one of these criminal squatters in it, if you're looking to sell it without the headaches of a traditional sale, then let's chat. My name, it's Jeff Chubb and I buy houses anywhere in the country. I close quickly, I pay cash and I buy them in as is condition. You can visit me at chubbinvestments.com or find all of my contact information below. Until next time.